Hey dragons, I thought I'd give you a glimpse of my Japanese lilac. So that's the stock of it. And this is the tree that has the dragonfly lights in it. So I don't know if you remember what it looked like without any beautiful flowers or any of the beautiful greenery. But it smells gorgeous, just like a regular lilac. The difference between a Japanese lilac and a regular lilac is, as you can see, the flower blooms are quite small. So if I was to cut it off, I'd actually be cutting it off from to back here. Uh, so if I do a severe prune, which I did three years ago because we almost lost it, then I could bring them in. But for the most part, I just cut it off right where the flowers start once they're done blooming. And as you can see, you can't really see a lot of the greenery. The leaves are pretty small right now, but once I cut it back, it just becomes this beautiful big ball of green because um, I do try to keep it in its cylindrical shape as much as I can, which is kind of difficult. Um, and everything's really starting to come in now. You're having a raccoon problem. There's my bamboo. So this bamboo right now is almost shoulder height. As you can imagine how tall it gets. We have raccoons that love to play in our pond at night, so our pond is really dirty. And they knock over our... Oh, they stepped on our little uh, flamingo, obviously, the other night. That's my variegated bamboo, which isn't coming back quite as well as it usually does. Um, but I absolutely love the little strips of color in it. I think it's called zebra grass. I call it variegated bamboo because it does get almost as tall as my other bamboo. And then down here, we have the burb with all of the hostas coming in. So you can see, and there's also 10 Pittsburgh Steeler little guys down in here. So I don't know if you can see all 10. But it looks so beautiful. There's still some that are coming in. I just discovered one five minutes ago when I was setting up the little gnomes because usually our little cheerleader here is knocked over from the raccoons little little darlings that they can be but this is new I've never seen that one before teeny tiny little guy I don't know how it got there accidentally stepped on it but it's really cute and our little friend taxi <laughs> who's hissing at me I'm too close to him there he is he likes to sleep there he took chicken out of my hand yesterday though, so I guess he likes it here. Anyways, miss you TD McGee Dragons. Hope to see y'all soon.